Dr. Yami Eisenbach, or more commonly known as Dr. J, has been a professor at Eastern Michigan University for over 20 years. He specializes in biology and has a master's in entomology, which is his area of study, and it's a study of insects. Now, Dr. J has a very unique style of teaching, which captivates every student that passes through his classroom. Let's take a look. I teach introductory biology for non-majors. I teach introductory biology for majors and I teach entomology, the study of insects. When I teach entomology, I'm teaching seniors and grad students who are well along in their careers. They're really, really engaged. So the challenges of trying to get students to become engaged in the material aren't there. Um, so I, there are other rewards. Um, I'm dealing with students that love what they're doing already. When I teach the introductory classes, it's a whole other set of challenges. Uh, trying to get students who aren't necessarily interested in the topic, engaged in the topic. So I can't pick, it's like picking between kids. You love them all, different ways. I will basically do anything, um, make a total and complete fool of myself to try to engage students. I don't try to stick with the standard professor stands up there, puts a PowerPoint slide up covered in words, and read the slide. I think that's counterproductive. I try to tell stories. I try to get the material to mean something to the lives of the students. For instance, to illustrate uh, what diffusion is, where molecules move randomly from regions of higher concentration to lower concentrations, I will torment the entire class by buying the worst smelling aftershave on the market, generally that's brewed, and I will pour it all over one part of the classroom and we'll see how long it takes for that stench, the scent I call elevator evacuator, to diffuse from that region of high concentration throughout the entire room. And when people are starting to gag, then I know it's reached them. I will climb on the blackboard. I'll do anything. If falling down a flight of steps would do it for these students, I would. I had a colleague who did that just to try to engage them and they called DPS and he was told never ever do it again. Yeah, every one of us, you know, gets turned on hopefully by something in life. Um, you by being involved in media. Um, I grew up on the streets of New York City where it was just concrete everywhere. There was no wildlife other than the bums. I was fortunate that there was a park across the street from where I grew up. And in this park, I was exposed for the first time to different aspects of nature. And there were just these cool insects. And ever since I was about four years old, I've just been fascinated by them. And you know, people grow up fascinated by one thing, go to college, and their interests change. And they go 180 degrees from there and explore something else. I'm still waiting for that shoe to drop. I'm still in love with insects. I just think they are the coolest thing. Jobs are not easy to find in academia. Tenure track positions are very difficult and very competitive. Um, I was one of 150 PhDs applying for the position that I eventually got here at Eastern Michigan University. That's a lot of competition. I've never heard of Eastern Michigan University. But one of my sayings is, never turn a job down that you have not been offered. What keeps me going is having students for whom, at some point in the semester, the light bulb goes on and they have one of those I get it moments. And that's why I get up in the morning. CSI, a graduate of Eastern Michigan University's biology department, happens to be the medical advisor to that show. And he was there with the show from the start. And he actually came and gave a talk here that was just filled with the goriest, most gut-wrenching slides and he it was just absolutely a blast to have him go okay so here's this body hanging from the overpass the head is on the side of the road what's the story behind it and everyone in the audience had to play 
figure out the crime. It was a blast, and he had dozens of those. I am just baffled by anyone who isn't innately curious about how their own body functions, how their interactions with other organisms in the environment take place and what's involved in them. And so I try to pitch it that way. How can you not be involved with biology when you're alive? Because you are doing biology all the time by eating food, processing it. What causes burps and farts? What happens to the food that goes in? Somehow it comes out. Dr. J, professor, student, and entertainer.